This is how the meatballs look at IKEA Taiwan, and this is how the IKEA meatballs look in Sweden. In today's video, we're gonna answer one of the most common questions I get as a Swede living in Taiwan. What is the difference between a Swedish and Taiwanese IKEA? And most importantly, what is the difference between Swedish meatballs at IKEA Sweden and IKEA Taiwan? Continue watching and you'll find out. Spoiler alert, it is actually a difference. And on our way into the store, I thought I should also clarify that this video is not sponsored by IKEA. In fact, this is the photo I accidentally took when the staff at IKEA Taiwan came over and told me I was not allowed to record inside of their store. Although there was no mentioning of this when I entered the store itself. But of course, as an honest YouTuber, I turned off my camera, apologized for the situation and left the store. And this is where the video could have ended, but you don't become a full-time YouTuber without being at least a little bit creative. So instead of going back home and cancel the video for this week, I decided to go back inside again and ask if it was allowed to take some photos of the different IKEA products and showrooms. And with the help of some green screen magic, we can continue with the rest of this video. I should also mention that when I was recording this part in Sweden, there was absolutely no problem with recording inside of the actual IKEA store. So all the videos that you will see in this video is from my local IKEA in Karlstad, Sweden. But on our way to the meatballs, I thought that we should also try to compare the different furniture sections between an IKEA store in Taiwan and one in Sweden. And we will start with the room that usually is the first room you will enter in at least a Swedish house, which is the living room. In general, I would say that the living room showrooms were very similar in both Sweden and Taiwan. It's just a lot more showrooms and less people in Sweden and just more space overall. For example, just look at this sofa section with literally dozens of sofas and no people. And if you would actually compare the size of the IKEA stores themselves, then this is the size of the IKEA store in Xinchuang, this is the size of the IKEA store in Xindian, this is my local IKEA in Karlstad and this is the world's largest IKEA store in Kungenskurva in Sweden. And this store is actually so huge so you can actually see the different furniture sections using Google Maps. Which I have to say is super handy since you actually, even in Taiwan, can actually get lost on your way to those meatballs. And on our way through the more general showrooms in Sweden, I discovered something that totally blew my mind and which I thought was super cool. The overall experience at IKEA Sweden almost felt like an interactive museum instead of a furniture store. Just look at this showroom with a fireplace in the living room, a fake window facing your neighbor's house, and even speakers in the kitchen simulating a mom cooking food while the kids are doing their homework at the kitchen table. And as we continue walking along the Swedish IKEA, we continue seeing just more products and larger spaces compared to in Taiwan. For example, both stores have the Freddy workstation and gaming setup, but in Taiwan it's kind of stuffed away in the back of a small studio apartment, whereas in Sweden it has its own full-size display. And now it's time for what I believe being the largest difference between a Swedish and Taiwanese IKEA, which is the kitchen section. But since this is a new section of IKEA, I just wanted to confirm once again that I could still take some photos inside of the store here in Taiwan. Boys, this in Sweden, you can literally buy every single thing at IKEA. They sell fridges, freezers, ovens, microwaves, stovetops, sinks, taps, you name it. And it can all be 100% integrated as well, so you can keep that sleek, minimalistic Scandinavian design in your entire kitchen. Whereas in Taiwan, well, it's just not the same. However, I will say that the kitchen section of a Taiwanese IKEA is very, very impressive considering just how small the Taiwanese kitchens actually are and just how little time the Taiwanese people are spending in their kitchen. So I definitely do not hold this against IKEA here in Taiwan. It's just more a Sweden versus Taiwan thing and just the different kitchen culture in general. And speaking about kitchen, it is now time to visit the IKEA restaurant where both Taiwanese and Swedes watching this video might be getting a shock when they realize how the IKEA restaurant looks like like on the other side of the world. First things first, and the first thing you have to do in at least Taiwan is to queue and line up. In Sweden, you can just go straight up to the counter and order your food, since this was recorded during the warm Swedish summer and every Swede is outside enjoying the heat, whereas every Taiwanese is inside of IKEA and enjoying the AC and some meatballs. On the way to the meatballs, you are of course greeted by a lot of other delicious foods, such as smoked salmon, which is actually available in both Taiwan and Sweden. However, please note that in Taiwan, the cost is 129 Taiwanese dollars, whereas in Sweden, it's 79 Swedish crowns, which is equivalent to over 230 
Taiwanese dollars. That's insane and also makes me super curious to what the price difference of the actual meatballs will be. In Taiwan you can also get a Thai style crayfish salad for 149 NT, whereas in Sweden you can go for a shrimp sandwich for the equivalent of 220 Taiwanese dollars. Next up is the dessert section where the classic daim torta or daim cake is available in both countries for either 55 NT in Taiwan or the equivalent of 85 NT in Sweden. But Sweden also have another section of classic Swedish fika in the shape of cupcakes, cookies and chocolate balls which also is something you can purchase in the Swedish IKEA food store and my absolute favorite thing in the entire world. So IKEA Taiwan if you are watching first of all I want to apologize for trying to record in your store. Second please do try to get these chocolate bollar or chocolate balls back in stock since they are just simply delicious. Whereas in Taiwan you can buy vegan jerky. Anyway, let's leave the chocolate balls as it's now time for the grand finale and the Swedish meatballs. And I just want to warn sensitive viewers since you might be in for the shock of your lifetime and never look at these Swedish meatballs the same way again. This is how the meatballs look at IKEA Taiwan and this is how the IKEA meatballs look in Sweden. First of all, where is half of my mashed potatoes? Second, where is half of my lingonberry jam? And third, where are my green peas? My best guess is that the Taiwanese customs simply see that there are some delicious food on its way to IKEA and then just decide to take half of it. I should however mention that in exchange for that missing mashed potatoes, those missing green peas and that lingonberry jam, you do actually get a Swedish little flag that I guess you can bring home with you as a souvenir, but I would much rather exchange that flag to some more mashed potatoes, green peas and jam. But as if that was not enough, it is now time to talk about the meatballs themselves and reveal what at least I think might be the biggest shock to all of you viewers and that is that these meatballs in Sweden and Taiwan actually are not the same. As most of you should know by now, I am by no means an expert when it comes to commenting on food, so I will actually just say that I of course prefer the Swedish ones a lot more than the ones you can get in Taiwan, but don't ask me to explain why or why not, because that's just not something I will be capable of. But something that I do can tell with 100% certainty is that the Swedish meatballs is actually made of 100% European meat, whereas the Taiwanese ones are using Australian or New Zealand beef. I don't really know if that will make a difference and I'm not going to comment on which one is best but of course as a European citizen and a Swedish national I am a little bit biased to the European meat and the true Swedish slash I guess Turkish meatballs. And worth mentioning is also that in Sweden you can actually get these meatballs in three different sizes in comparison to two different sizes here in Taiwan. And the price for 15 meatballs in Taiwan is 189 Taiwanese dollars, whereas in Sweden for 16 meatballs you only have to pay roughly 200 Taiwanese dollars, which I have to mention by Swedish standards is also very very cheap, which just adds to why we do love these Swedish IKEA meatballs even more. But although these meatballs may not be 100% the same, me as a Swede 100% recommend you to still go and check out IKEA, try some Swedish furniture, try some at least close enough Swedish food. But I should also mention that this is actually the correct and only way to order a Swedish meal at IKEA. You do need some raspberry berry cakes and of course the meatballs with mashed potatoes. Sometimes when I walk through the IKEA here in Taiwan I see some french fries and some German pork knuckle and some people would even order a Boston chocolate cake and you can already hear in the name Boston has absolutely nothing to do with Sweden and the German pork knuckle as well so please do my Swedish heart a favor and just stop ordering these non-Swedish dishes next time you go to Ikea and when it comes to the drinks I personally highly recommend the raspberry or pear soda which actually is the only soda I will drink normally I only drink sparkling water coffee or juice but when I come to Ikea I do make an exception and get either the raspberry or the pear soda which is just such a traditional drink that we all drink in Sweden growing up. And of course you also need a coffee on the side and then later on after you've checked out and you do take that visit to the Swedish food store which by the way is another section here at Ikea so once again I just need to check if I'm still allowed to take some photos so we can continue with this green screen magic over here. Perfect. So when you do come to this Swedish food store, I highly recommend this Swedish candy of dime. And we also have this Marabou chocolate with original and dime flavor as well. But when you do come here to the chocolate, it is important that you do not choose. You simply need to get one of each and then decide for yourself 
which one you like the most. And here we also have Oboi, which is the most traditional Swedish chocolate drink. And I can guarantee you that 100% of all Swedish kids have tried Oboi growing up. And I think at least 99% of them have loved it as well. It is the most typical drink for a Swedish breakfast, then together with some cheese or ham sandwiches. I guarantee you that is the Swedish childhood right there. So just remember, next time you come to an IKEA, either in Sweden or Taiwan, first of all, please do not try to record inside of the store. And then second, please make sure to try some of the Swedish slash Australian slash New Zealand slash Turkish meatballs as well. And if you do want the true 100% Swedish experience, then you should of course also do something that 100% of all Swedes watching this video will do right now. And that is to like this video, to show your support, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and please also share this video with someone who you think should know a little bit more about IKEA and the Swedish meatballs. Or just share this video with someone that you want to bring with you to IKEA to have some delicious Swedish meatballs. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Lucas. It starts with L as in like, ends with S as in subscribe. Please do both and see you all in the next one.